Coretta Scott King is a great representative of what the award stands for. At that time, Black children's literature was not being awarded the awards like the Caldecott, the Newberry. African American writers and illustrators were not being celebrated in the way they should have been celebrated. And there needed to be more representation and more diversity all across the board. It's still just as relevant today as it was 50 years ago. It is actually the 50th anniversary of the awards and Richland Library is so excited to have 50 award-winning illustrations. Children's books are one of the places where children start getting their ideas about how the world works and how human relationships work. The stories build empathy. Children in Columbia can look at the pictures, see themselves. These books are important for all children to see, not just for February, but every day. You know, they're great artists that are expressing themselves through the dedication of Black children's books. What's the beautiful thing about it is they were once Black children themselves. One of the most unique aspects of having this exhibition at both the Richland Library and the Columbia Museum of Art is that both cultural institutions represent two different forms of creativity. The Art Museum focuses on art, that's their thing. And we're typically known for our books and the words. This is a phenomenal combination because it lets you know that books are pieces of art. It would be a beautiful thing if people see this art and then go downstairs into the children's room and pull those books off the shelves. Just savor the sounds of the words as they are savoring the images.